we are going to use pivot charts to analyze some data. Here we have some employment data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, different types of jobs, whether they're private or government jobs, the number of jobs, and the change in jobs since the end of 2004. So we're going to start a lot like we're making a pivot table. You're going to select your data, but you're going to go to Insert, and under Charts, you'll see there's a pivot chart button. And this is only for PCs. Unfortunately, Excel for Mac does not support pivot charts. Click pivot chart, you'll see our table or range is selected. We want it in a new worksheet, click OK, and you're gonna get a screen like this. Now click in your chart, and you're gonna see all of your fields here. And below that, you're going to have four sections for filters, legend, access, and values. So first select the data that you want to analyze. Let's say we want to look at the change in employees. And then for your axis, that's going to be what shows up along your x-axis here. So we want to look at dates. Let's say we want to look at the change in employment over time. So here I can see the total change in non-farm payrolls by year since the end of 2004, um, but let's say I want to break it up and I want my legend to show me whether they are goods or service positions. So here, if I drop goods or services into the legend, you can see you'll get a legend that says goods and service jobs. You can see your goods are in blue and your service jobs are in orange. Now, let's say that I only want to look at private sector jobs. Now, I can drop private or government in my filters, and then you'll see a little filter pop up in the left-hand corner of your chart. You can select here, private, okay? And you'll see that there was a slight change because some of the service jobs were government jobs. And that is just a simple overview of using pivot charts to analyze a large data set.